the dead search who came second in Britain's talent show has been taken to a rehab clinic and has been treated under the Mental Health Act. London police confirmed the details without naming Susan Boyle, but news organisations have. It's the clinic made famous by tantrum-throwing stars, but Boyle's problem is thought to be exhaustion. Laura Turner reports. Seven weeks after first stunning the world with her voice, the headlines have changed. It all became too much for Susan Boyle after her shock defeat on Britain's Got Talent. She reportedly broke down backstage and is now in the Priory Rehab Clinic, the same one used by Amy Winehouse and Kate Moss. But it's no shock to one psychologist who warned a week ago that this would happen. Is she psychologically prepared for the reaction to the program, to the fact that she might not win? What are the long-term impact of her appearing on the program going to be for the rest of her life? The pressure was showing even before the 48-year-old learned her fate on the show. Days before the final, she threatened to quit and lashed out at journalists. <laughs> and has struggled with the result. So too have the winners, though in their case it was having to change their thank you speech. I was congratulating the guys, saying well done, you know, second place is amazing. amazing, you've done so well. Just wait, I have my speech ready, you know, well done Susan. When well, they said diversity, honestly, my legs actually just gave way. Boyle knows all about stage nerves. She's about to sign a record deal that could make her millions. And there's talk of her conquering America, where she's received huge coverage. That's consolation to the hordes of fans in her home village. Who were shocked at her defeat. She's not disappointed about that, but she'll go on to great things now. She will. And she's still a hard time. Susan Boyle, they say, will end up the real winner. But she won't want to follow Amy Winehouse too closely.